Hello. Hi. Hello. We're out again today with the Moonraker mudlarks and we are mudlarking the Thames Estuary. We've had a lot of luck up here in the past. We thought we'd bring um, Jackie and Dave up, share this wonderful spot. It should be a great day. Come with us. Now the phones have already started coming in. Jackie's just had this gorgeous button. She had a red cane bead just a minute ago as well. Okay. Which is there. Nice little bead. And oh, I've had a pizza pipe stem. And there it goes. Yeah, so not a bad start. Okay, here's my first bead on this beach. And it's a lovely green one. Very pleased with that. And I also found a little flower. So it begins. Oh, well, there's a something. There's a part of a lead toy, I think. I still a bit, see a bit of green paint on there. Yeah, old lead toy. Okay, so I've just bent down here. I oh, know I can't find it. Where'd it go? It's because I found something else. But I found, oh, there it is. A little mother of pearl button. And down here, look. A little doll's arm. And it's got writing on it, I think. How cool is that? See the little fingers there? Awesome find. Anybody lost a thumb screw? It's obviously not a thumb screw, but I don't know what it is. And a couple of pieces of pipe stem. I've only been doing it in five minutes. Great beach this is. Just found that like a hat pin and I've lost what Doug found now but it was half a bead he couldn't find it and I found it but it was only half I stood here chatting to who are you I'm Julie Julie and we both looked down I was like look at this it's a stubble bopper there you go oh but you saw it first we have loads oh. and I've got it on film so it's fine you have it thank you so much I've got one that hasn't been in the river, but I haven't got one that's been, look, it's still got a bit of cork. Yeah. So that probably would have been out of a sauce bottle or something. It's amazing, thank you. You're very welcome. A little glass bead down there. See, this is a flat shaped one with the hole going through, look. Oh, nice little okay. find. All right, a couple more bits there. Oh, look. There's a bone toothbrush. I think that's a part of an enamelled badge of some sort. And another piece of pipe stem. Jackie's just found another button over there. It's taken a while to get the eye in, but the finds are coming now. That's that lovely bit of red glass. I think Dave over there has just had a Vulcanite bottle stopper. Scott over there, Scott from uh, Scott and Sherry Treasure Hunting. Check them out on YouTube. Um, he's just, he's had a nice little Victorian tile and a couple of really nice glass beads as well. So yeah, the, the finds are coming out. Again, I'm not quite sure how I found this. But I found the tiniest little gem. I don't think it's a bead because I can't see a hole through it, but it's so small. Awesome. Love finding things like that. Tiny, tiny. Just had a couple of special finds. The first one is this lovely glass bead. Lovely colour, that one. And it also has an iridescence on it, which is really nice. And the other one is one half of the mud pies. Hello. Hi. Hi <laughs> lovely Brilliant to meet surprise. you. And good to meet you two eventually. Yeah, yeah eventually. We'll have to meet up at some point. Yes. Well, yeah. Um, Unfortunately, Josie's at work today, so it's just one half of the mud pies. Oh, and Mama Mud Pie as well. Who's hiding? <laughs> <laughs> Running around the back. <laughs> yeah, so gen genuine good find on the beach there. Oh, thank you. Absolutely pleasure today. to meet you. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. 
I've heard you've got some mud patterns now, so we're going to have to get out there for a squelch in the mud. Yeah, you'll have yeah. To to so I think we need some practice time. first. We definitely need some practice first. We haven't used them yet, but yeah, that, that sounds like a great plan. Yeah, I'd love to do that. Yeah. Because I'm too scared. Yeah, we'll plan that for one, one day in the future then. Yes. Yeah, after a few storms. Yeah, we'll awesome. yeah. Love it. I'm just having a look down at the edge where the shingle meets the mud. See what's lying about. There's paste jars there. Oh, terracotta power flower pot. Oh, it's broken. So a few bottles and bits and pieces. Milk jars, milk glass jars. Anyway, somebody said, um, well, Scott from Scott and Sherry's treasure hunting. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Said, um, come down here. You, you, should, you find some. It's great for clay pipe bowls. Uh, we'll have a look. See if we can find any. Oh, Jackie's just found a button in a piece of clay pipe stem. It's a nice glass button. Yeah, white glass button. Beautiful. I wonder what that means. Might see if I can look that up. AR. Not enough to the plate to find out there's anything else on it. Right, I'm attempting to walk down the end because apparently that's where all the pipes are. Out there in the mud, I can see a blue teapot lid. See it there? And I'm sure Jackie from uh, Moonrakers would love that. She loves her teapot lids, but I don't have my wellies on. Do I go and grab it? Let's see if we can put a stepping stone out there. This could be Comedy unfold here. Ooh. Oh, 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 and it's broken after all that. Oh, never mind. That's a shame. That would have been something special, wouldn't it? It's got a loop at both ends. I wonder what that would have been. Cool. So many interesting things here. I just don't know where to look first. I'm just having a mooch along the edge just in case I spot a pipe bowl peeking out. Keep looking. And then there's a heartbreaker. An old R white stone stoneware bottle. Right, here. But I'm looking at this look. Nice piece of decorated pink glass so that would have been manganese glass that's really nice that could uh, figure into one of our projects I think very nice you see a gorgeous piece of pottery down there look at this a small dish but any artwork on that that's gorgeous Another interesting bit there as well. I'm not sure what style of pottery that one's called. If anybody knows, can you let me know, know down below? I'm going to research it when I get home. That's really nice. Can you see down there? That's a little clay bead. Cool. Very old. Oh, Doug's had a bottle stopper. I found a bead, what you found? Oh, isn't that pretty? Yeah. Well, that's a good one. It's a clay bead. Yeah. Old, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's cool. There's some lovely pottery here. I know. You put that back down, didn't you? Well, I just stooped down to um, pick up this bottle stopper. And literally a foot away from it was this one. Now, this, this one's plain speckled pattern, but this one has detail on it. And it's W.A. Wilson, London, S.E. 
So there's a London bottle stopper. It makes sense, we're on the Thames. Uh, do a bit of research into that. Nice. Look down here. Tiny pink bead. I found a seed bead. It's pink. Well, there's a something. There's a thing. Not sure what it is. Um, got a slate pencil there. And some teeth. Likely to be sheep's teeth, I should imagine. But not for me. Got a nice little bottle washed up in the wall. Little old pill bottle. Not too old. Probably 1940s. Alright, spot the find. It's just down in that area. Can you see it yet? I'll zoom in. got a button I think that's a mother apparel button but it does have decoration on the other side it's painted look that's unusual nice little button look at this gorgeous thing isn't that beautiful it's huge that would have been a really thick dish of some sort, wouldn't it? As we always say, the stories that could tell. I could stay here forever. I've just come over to show Jackie this mother apparel button. Look, it's, a, it's an old pipe bowl. That's an older one as well. Getting blue spot that. That's a good one. I'm facing the wrong way. <laughs> right, just down here there's another button look and it's a black one. I think it might be more modern actually. I think it's plastic. Yeah, it's a more modern one. Can you see it? Beautiful clay marble. Perfect. Gorgeous. Well, I just found this. It, it, it's ceramic. And I think it's a bit of kiln furniture, possibly. But down here, I can see the most gorgeous aqua bottle stopper. Look. And that's been rolling around because it's uh, smoothed off by the sea. But what gorgeous colour. Bottle stopper number three. <laughs> That is, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. I don't know what that's made out of. I think it's plastic. It must be. I'm gonna take that, just because it's a bit of fun. Well, Jackie's just found another seed bead over there. And I've just found this uh, stone caster. Solid. Let's have a look at Jackie's bead. Oh, look at the colour of that. It That's did. gorgeous. A bit of pipe stem down there. A bit of pipe stem down there. I'm going to put that in the box there. You can put yeah. the pipe stem up. That's gorgeous. Let's get my pipe stem. A nice little stone with a hole in it. Almost looks like it was deliberate. Very smooth. Hold a uh, clock cog. Rusted in, I think that's probably the spring that's rusted behind it. But doesn't that look great? Very steampunk. Something ale? I wonder if that was from a local pub. I can see a lovely red bead down there, I think. See it there? It is. <laughs> nice red glass bead. Incidentally, uh, to get this red colour, they had to add gold to the glass. I think this it is, it's a faceted bead as well. A lovely colour. 
I don't know how I managed to spot that, but that is the smallest bead I have ever seen or found. I don't know if you can see it on this camera. Look at that. Right by my finger there. Word that is really the tiniest red bead. You can see the hole through it. Wow. Just spotted this out the corner of my eye. Can you see it? Yep, another beautiful little bead. Right, I just stopped to show Jackie that tiny red bead I found. Look down here. There's another glass bead. I thought it was damaged, but it's actually designed to be like that. Well, there would have been a necklace bead, and it would have gone round like that. See the hole going through it? Nice. What is that? No idea what that is. Is that part of it? Is that a bead? A big bead? No, that's where the pipe, the um, these go through, isn't it? Oh, of course it is. Yeah, it's from a battery. There's another one down there. Oh, Jackie's just said, "Oh, that's lovely. That's gorgeous, isn't it?" Yeah. Doing well for beads today, aren't we? We are. <laughs> down here. Is pipe stem. It's in my hand. Pipe stem. Seems to be a good area. Just sat there. It's a bit of rubber. Seems to be a good area. This we we'll have a good search around here. Oh yeah, half a bead, but I'm still going to take that. Yeah, that's that's pretty. Uh, so I'm sure we can set that in something. Sorry. I don't know. Hi. Hey. Uh, Hi. I'm oh, sorry. No, you're alright. Carry on. Yeah, they well, it's round and it's green. Looks like there might be a coin edge there. Or it might be a button. It's far off too gone. Might be able to clean that up and see what it was later on. Just spotted down there, lovely turquoise bees, look. Oh, that is a gorgeous bead. Is that an old marble? No. Yeah, what a brilliant bead that is. That's gorgeous. Alright, can you see the find? Now, I don't know if this is plastic or whether it's... I think that might be plastic. That's a shame. That would have been a stunner. I'm going to check with Doug first, but I'm pretty sure that's plastic. I can see another bead under here and a blue one. Just there, look. Oh. And it is. Another gorgeous little bead. It's turning into another bead day. Look at that old bottle jar. A marmite, let me see what it is. It's a Marmite jar. That's a lovely little one. I like that. Spot the find. And it's one I'm excited about. Can you see it yet? Let's move in. It's a beautiful glass stopper. How brilliant is that? I am super pleased with that. I love my glass stoppers anyway, but that one is amazing. Right, we're just catching up with Scott and Cherie, showing some of their finds, and they found these amazing little glass stoppers. That Scott's found two, and Cherie's found one. I've never seen them that small no, before. No, nor have I. No. Yeah, plenty of pipe stems and bits and pieces. Are you doing well on the beads as well? Buttons and beads. Oh, that yellow bead's lovely, isn't it? 
Tile. Yeah, I like your little tile. That's amazing. Cherry's finding plenty as well. Look at all those beads. It's definitely a bead day today, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Just found a couple there. On oh, human oh. tooth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it is a human one as yeah. well, isn't it? <laughs> nice selection yeah. of finds there. Yeah, yeah, it's been good. Been good so far. We're standing there talking and Sherry's just found this lovely bottle stopper. Right, I've got, um, got a castle in the middle, Cooper's. Oh, it's a Co Cooper's? That's yeah. Cooper's, that's from down our way. Oh, is it? Yeah, Cooper's is in Romsey. Wow. So that, that's a Hampshire brewery one. A nice stopper. What's Jackie just found? She's going ooh ooh ooh. I found, a, I found an eye. Oh. You found an eye? You have found an eye. That's a, oh wow, look at that. That's a tiny eye. I think it's got bits missing though. But... Yeah. That's but it's still an eye. There. That's well good. What's that down there? Yeah. That oh. looks like a clock. Yeah. What's that? We've all stopped and started finding mm. stuff. I know. You do <laughs> though, don't you? Like the other day when, oh my word, look at that bead. Is that a bead or a dice? It might be a dice. It's dice. Don't tell me it's a dice. No. Oh, oh he's only no. Dice. no way. What's on my bucket list? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. They're yellow dice. Yeah, but it's, oh, it's like glass. Oh, and I've got my eye. <laughs> Number oh, five okay. there. Oh, I'm super pleased with that. This is turning into such a great day. I have spotted something else, but I don't know. Okay, can you spot the find? Can you see it? Oh my word, that's, that's gorgeous. A little bit broken, I think, though. Yeah. Oh, a beautiful bead. Cool. I've no idea what this is, but it looks like a metal stopper. <laughs> it's more than likely something for turning some. Tide's starting to work its way in now. So we're doing, trying to do this lower bit before it gets covered over. Is that a tiny, tiny little bead? No, it's a fleck of paint. No. Oh. These, I uh, used to find quite a lot of these metal detected. It's the end off a riding crop. The crop would come out the bottom. You know, and whip the horse. Jerry's just found this lovely glass stopper. Beautiful stopper. Right, looks like there's a glass button down here. Oh yeah, that's a lovely glass button. A patterned one. That's a nice find. Another little collar stud. I think we'll have to be going soon because we've got to drive all the way home. I've got work tomorrow. I'm now very jealous of what Doug's found. So I'm trying to find something good before we go home. That's a pretty bit of glass. Oh, that bottle. I think we might possibly have another little bead down here. Just there, look. Like it is, it's another little glass bead. Oh, look at that, it's pink. It's a pink one. That's nice, I haven't found a pink one yet. Lovely. There's another, is that a bead? Or is that a gem? That is a blue glass gem. A gorgeous little thing. It's faceted in on both sides, so yeah, it's a little gem. Nice. It's not my day for stoppers. That's a better one. The one I did find, I gifted to someone else. So everyone else seems to be finding them today. Never mind, not my day. May still find one yet though. Just down there is a, another glass bottle stopper. Look. That's an unusual one. A bit different to the ones we usually find. That's nice. We just there's been a bottle digger down here, so I'm just searching around the hole he's left. He's left this lovely little panelled amber bottle, but 
Look at the colour of that. That is gorgeous. I know I said I'm not going to take bottles today, but that one's got to go in the bag. It's gorgeous. And a tiny little button there, look. Another mother wear apparel button. And so one. You're breaking the chandelier drop. I like that, that's nice. I've stopped with me and Jackie to have a drink. Look down here, look. That's a porcelain arm. Oh wow. A little hand on the end. A cracking little find. A bit of a break. I just did a little bit of a scrape. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, beautiful little glass bead. Thank you very much. Another lovely little bead down there, look. A tiny little blue bead. I can't even pick it up. <laughs> and get it into my hand. Gorgeous little blue bead. That's the one. Another little green bead. Glass, that one's been rolling around for a while. Lovely colour. Just moved some seaweed. Found this little tiny bottle hiding underneath. It's a screw top, so I won't be taking it. But it's nice to find anyway. I'm trying to give my eyes a bit of a rest. Because I'm sure you will find when you're looking for little stuff all the time, it gets really tiring. I just thought I'd come and move a bit of seaweed around. Sometimes you find bits hiding underneath. Don't know if you can spot the find. Just here. It's a little button. Isn't that pretty? I like that. <coughs> Excuse me, that'll be coming home with us. Just sit down, take a load off my feet. Right, right by the side of me is this beautiful cobalt blue bead. Really nice little bead that. Definitely a bead day. Just show you our small finds pot. Looking really good today. Little dice. Several beads, cabbage arms. Yeah, it's turning out to be a good day. Lovely buttons. I do like this blue button that Jackie found. Gorgeous. Well, still sitting in the same place where I found the cobalt blue bead, and I just shut the pot that I was showing you. And I got this lovely red faceted bead. Another really great bead. Uh, I'm not sure, it says property of something, I can't quite work it out. It looks like some sort of tag of some description. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Hmm, I have to put it on a little electrolysis machine when I get home. Yeah, Let's you'll have to let us know up. what that pans out to be. I, I will do, mate, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Light finds like that. Yeah, so do I. Well done. <laughs> button. Wow, it's a massive mother of pearl one. And another bead. I found four beads. Have <laughs> <laughs> they not? I still have my loads. I don't think my eyes are working today. That's a nice button, isn't it? I'm going to have a yeah, scrape around here for a little minute. Yeah, Just sat down for a minute. I thought I'd have a scrape around here. We found a few bits. Oh, I think it might be my shadow. Nice little orange bead. I'm not sure if I didn't see another one. Bear with me a sec. Mm. Might just be a stone. Yeah, it's a stone. Yeah, I'll have a little scrape down here and see if there's any more. Not 
sure what this is. It's glass. But maybe it's come out of a dress ring or something, or I don't know. It's kind of cool. But it's coming home. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Can you see that there? I don't even know I can pick it up. Oh no. Did I get it? No, it's still there. I've got it now. I'm going to put it on the lid of our box. It's so tiny, I'm going to drop it and use it. Too. Move it into the sun so you can see. Look at that. See that? Teeny tiny. Tiny seed bead. It's very small and very round and very flat. Well, I'll take that with us. Another tiny little red seed bead. It's not as small as the other one I found, but it's still a nice tiny one. And I'm still sat in the same spot. Right, I found an even smaller seed bead than the red ones I found. Is it yeah. that little tiny yellow bead? How amazing. I don't know, but it's a bit Just pointed this out. Right by the bag. Hang on, let me turn around. There we go. Lovely bead. That's a nice one. Well done, Doug. Right, a few more finds. We've got an, a uranium glass bead, a nice burgundy coloured bead, part of a collar stud, a bit of clay pipe, and I've just found this morning bead. And it's a faceted jet black one. It's a lovely bead. Well found you. Thank you very much. How oh, is it? Just yeah, found another little it. seed bead. We tried that. In found quite a few of those today. I don't know if you can see that. I've just found another one. I'm not sure that's even smaller than the one I just found. Drive safe, Bart. Look. Yeah, yeah. Have a safe journey back. Yeah, we'll do. See you later. Can you see that? Yeah, I've got They're used to it. Yeah, they are, yeah. I think that's a glowy in the dark one. Oh, oh, it does look like a uranium one. See ya! I spotted something else there. No, that's not a speed. But look at that one. Hang about. Right by Dave's bag. Oh, yeah. We've got a little collar stud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice little one as well. Hey. I think you should have that date. No, I wouldn't have seen it if it wasn't too bad, and I found one the other day. So. Okay. Yeah, right, we're calling it a day. We're all knackered. We've had some tremendous finds between us. Some great finds. What was your favourite find, Dave? Well, actually, the smallest bead ever for me, which was a tiny little red bead. Oh, nice. Your well, favourite yeah. find, Jackie? It has to be my little diamond. Yeah, without a doubt. I'm here, darling. I'm here. <laughs> your my, my arm. Yeah, I like your arm. arm as well. And for me, mine was my dice. That's a bucket list find. That's brilliant find. So we've met some lovely people. We've met quite a few other mudlarkers. Um, other half of mud pies, Sherry and Scott. And we've had a, a, an all-round great day. Brilliant time. We'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye for now. <laughs>